How to make water reflection in Canva Hi guys! Welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial! Today we're going to show you how to make water reflection in Canva. So in this video, the first thing I'm going to show you is go to your Canva and create your design and set your custom size. So in my case, I'm setting my size in a 16 by 9 presentation size. So now that we are here on our canvas, I'm going to go on the elements and go to the photos and choose the photo that I would want. So here I'm just gonna go show a scenery. So here I'm going to choose a scenery. It's up to you what image as long as it would uh, create this effect so I'm just gonna choose this uh, scenery as a cloud one and then I'm gonna ha make this into half the size of this uh, presentation size so I'm gonna crop this one into half size and after creating its half we're going to duplicate it again so you duplicate and then uh, flip the duplicate to vertical and then you have to make sure it would align to the first uh, image so that it would create this uh, reflection effect or mirror effect so there so you can see it's really mirrored so that's how you your subject would would look like so the next thing we're going to do is go to the effects and search liquify so here we are on the liquify and then I'm gonna go choose the shake and then let's click on this to adjust the effect so here in the thick distort I'm gonna go up with 2.8 and same as the fine distort, I'm gonna go up also to make it to 2.8 as well. Then after that, that's how it would look like. There's this ripple effect, ripple or liquify effect. The next thing we're going to do is look for a C uh, background or a C image. So here I'm going to uh, look for a C image So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one So I have to make sure to align it to the second one. So here. I'm just aligning it And once you placed it's uh, The C we're going to go to its transparency and so we're going to go ahead for its transparency and lower it to 25 to create this effect so as you can see it is it is now looking like a reflection a water reflection so you just have to make sure to align it to the second one that we duplicated so that it would have a seamless effect in creating a water reflection so that's about it guys on today's video i hope you learned a lot in this tutorial thank you for watching